There is a mini UK refugee crisis going on. Brits who like shooting are moving to France, where the law is more relaxed and shooting sports more respected. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. Yeah, yeah, parfait. Parfait, merci. Jean-Michel uses his bicycle to collect the targets from the 200-metre indoor range he runs in southwest France. He has benefited from the tightening of firearms laws in the UK. It was a refugee problem. <laughs> so you have solved a refugee crisis. <laughs> yes, I have. For uh, very, very small <laughs> people. No, at the beginning, I think uh, we have 20 uh, shooters. We can. Among them are Nick Doherty, his wife Laura and son Zach. Thanks to Tony Blair's restrictions on handguns in 1997, Nick's family has a new life in France. It was actually the fact that I could bring my pistols to France, keep them in a gun shop here and take them shooting that attracted me to the place at all. I'd had no other reason to come to southwest France. Had you been to France much before? No, I think I'd been... I had gone to do um, a 10k race in northern France once, um, but that's about it. There were a group of shooters in England uh, who had found out, and I'm not really sure how, about this opportunity. Um, that, so we were made the offer, you could bring your guns here, because you will remember, we could either hand our um, guns in, sell them to the government, or we could, um, well, do what we like with them really, as long as we didn't keep them. And so we decided to uh, bring ours out here. Nick has his own pistols, which he keeps at home and uses at the range. There may not be so many restrictions, but the rules in France are as tight as the UK. You have to carry your firearms in their cases to your firing point, and you can't use a holster, so no quick-draw practice. Among Nick's own guns is one of the most famous handguns in the world, the Colt 45, this one made by Auto Ordnance. You can rent guns to use here, although only in semi-auto, not full auto. This is the AK-47. Uh, well, this is a 1891 Marlin carbine. They do have some things that probably have more interest. Here's a 1941 uh, Garand. There are lots and lots of uh, guns available to hire. Uh, quite a lot of long arms, which you can see here. And there are various guns that people might be interested in, for example, the Heckler & Koch MP5 there. The range rents them out for an hour at a time, including 50 rounds of ammunition. A lot of this is about heritage. Nick has a pistol that shoots historic ammunition. So this is um, 30 carbine. This is the same round as we were looking at the picture of the M1 carbine from the Second World War. Uh, but this is going to be fired in a handgun. This is a thing called an Automag 3. Because this is a very short barrel, not all of the powder will burn. And so we will find that there's quite a flash coming out of the end of the barrel. Nick lets me have a go. It appalls me that I am so out of touch with pistol shooting, an entire branch of shooting sports. Now, right. when, I, when, I take, when I take it off you, yeah. obviously nowhere near the trigger. Yeah. Yes. Put a hand round like that, is that normal? Yeah, now what you're going to do, you're going to need two hands for this, so you're going to have to put that thumb over that one. Okay. Okay, this is really important. Right. Because this is going to fly back, and if your thumb was in the way, Ow. you wouldn't have a thumb anymore. Ow. Now, I'm pointing it down range. Yes. Is that safe? That's safe, and at the moment this is locked open. And so actually the locked open is, is the thing that above all it's says... It's just like with a broken shotgun. Brilliant. Okay, so that cannot fire at the moment. Gotcha. So put your arm out straight. Okay, and obviously the sight picture's like you'd expect on a rifle. Yep. All right. Bingo. Nothing. Okay, right. So magazine in there. Yep. And now you're going to push that catch down. Hold it back where, where, where you were. Like that. That's it. Push the catch, but, um, that's it, and you're ready. Okay, right. you'll hold it tight. Just squeeze it lightly. Yes, there's a real boom <laughs> like that. <laughs> yes. But that wasn't, that didn't actually do that. No, all. no, no, it flips up. You know, can I just, can I put this down? Is that no, safe? not like that, you can't. Right, how do I put it down? Keep firing. Keep firing until it's empty. Yes. All right, let me do that first.
This is great. There you go. Right, it's empty now. Right. Okay. Size open. Put it down. So I'll take it. Take the magazine One. out. All right. This this is particularly silly gun, <laughs> as you can see from the huge flash. Nobody would really ever use this. Uh, this was made by some Americans as a bit of a joke to use a rifle round in a pistol. And that's why we're getting that huge flash out the barrel, because there's so much powder in one of these rounds that it can't all burn in the barrel, which is why you get the flash out the end. Obviously, if you fired this in a rifle, it would go faster, but you wouldn't get the flash. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to the Uzi, okay? Great. Again, this is semi-auto. Obviously, civilian shooters in France are not allowed full auto. There are, there are some similarities. Uh, in England, for example, to do target shooting, you'd have to be a member of a, a Home Office approved club. Here, you have to be a member of the French Federation as a general rule. But as in England, there are effectively regulations that allow people to try shooting. I think it's limited to twice a year, but you are allowed effectively to go on what in England we would call a guest day. Anybody who's ever tried pistol shooting will know it's quite different to shooting pigeons, clay or <laughs> real ones, or um, shooting uh, rifles, whether that's at deer or long range targets. Um, I was, I've been a, a, a chair of a, a shooting club and I've introduced mm, a few hundred people probably to shooting. And I've only had two people who said they didn't like it out of all those hundreds. And almost everybody else has said two things. They've said, it's a great deal more difficult than I thought it would be and it's a great deal more fun than I thought it would be. This is a family outing. Nick's wife, Laura, is a target shooter too. That's not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fear you have beaten Nick. Yes. I usually do. <laughs> uh, it's a sport that is a real leveller. Anyone can do it, whether it be men, women, the elderly, the youngsters, those who are not so able-bodied, wheelchair users. It's a sport that everyone can participate in. And, uh, that, that you know, that's one of the things we love about it. And, uh, yeah, it's great fun. And there is a 10-metre air pistol range with a high-tech target system. The target are... A small computer. You can choose if you want to shoot with a carbine or a pistol and after you can choose different targets. The system offers anything from competition targets to an apple tree where the apples fall from the tree when you shoot them. Yeah. Yay! There's even merch available at this range. It'll be tight, it'll show off your muscles. Um, I think that there's quite a, an interest in shooting uh, pistols still in the UK. I think that uh, it's a great pity that we lost that ability. And if people want to take the opportunity to come and do it in France, there are limited, but there are opportunities to do that. And Nick and Laura can arrange it for you. They live near the beautiful city of Albi, and there are many activities as well as shooting in the area. Find out more on their Facebook page.